This is the mother of thousands. I looked it up and they have them everywhere in Mexico, but one is in my house. It is, I'm not going to touch it with my hand, I'm just going to touch it with a paintbrush. It's a little bit like, can you see here? It's ready. Bees are its babies. They're ready, they're coming. It has, you cannot see, but I think maybe one just fell on me. It has tiny roots that are ready, so when it hits the ground, it can automatically take the nutrients from the ground and just come and go and grow even more. And it's a kind of succulent, and the succulent is. I think it's called succulent because when there is water or when there's not very much water, if I just touched a grain of sand with my finger, it would feel not wet, but because mine is a human finger. But if you touch it with a finger of a succulent, they can feel the water. They can know when there's water in the air and even in a grain of sand, they can feel the water and they suck it up. And they have more water, they can suck up more water in dry places than other plants. So they can basically survive anywhere, probably in space as well. I'm a little bit worried about this one because it does look very much like, a bit like animal. Can you see the striations with the, okay, maybe a zebra or an alligator or frog or, or a lizard? Like a lizard, because maybe this is very from the early in evolution. It looks a bit like it is from a different planet. And have you seen in a film when when they have all the babies ready, and then suddenly they just come, and you can't stop them because they are so numerous. And I think this is a little bit like that. I'm just a little bit worried because one day it might just, if it's a mother of thousands and it comes off now and there'll be one thousand in my house, or when I'm asleep it might come and fall in my nose and then there'll be a thousand in my nose. Just a little bit, don't, maybe I'll. Maybe I'll give that one to a friend.